We want to turn now to the White House. President Biden said he spoke with former President Donald Trump on the phone over the weekend, calling it a short but good conversation. And then last evening, the president spoke to the nation from the Oval Office, offering a message of unity and calling on Americans to, quote, lower the temperature in politics. Weijia Zhang is at the White House for us covering all of this. Weijia, good morning. Tony, good morning to you and good morning to everybody. This was only President Biden's third Oval Office address, a testament to how much weight he wants to put behind that message of rejecting political violence. The president urged Americans to restore civility and to recommit to resolving differences peacefully, calling the upcoming presidential election a, quote, time of testing for the United States. Biden rushed back here to Washington just hours after the Trump rally, and he canceled an event scheduled for today in Texas. The vice president canceled a campaign event Tuesday. In fact, the Biden campaign suspended all political activity immediately after the shooting unfolded, stopping all outbound communications and pulling TV ads across the country. But Biden officials Campaign officials tell CBS News that tonight, after President Biden does a primetime interview, and of course, that first night of the RNC, they will resume, drawing a contrast with Republicans and Trump while being mindful about rhetoric. Biden will then head to Las Vegas this evening, where he will hold a fundraiser and a couple of White House events, including speaking at the NAACP convention as he continues to court black voters. Tony? Weijia, thank you very much.